Um, so thank you, uh, thank you all for joining uh, for the kickoff of this um, book club. Uh, text mining. Uh, so I think um, we can get uh, because we are very few. We are four here. We can um, do a little bit of introduction of what we do. Um, yeah. So um, my name is Shamsuddin. I'm from Nigeria, and I'm also a PhD student and doing computer science and doing uh, machine learning and NLP. That's uh, really what I'm doing. Okay, Ryan can go. Welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Ryan. I uh, this is actually my sixth cohort, uh, all in, in <laughs> sequence with each other. So uh, you you may uh, see me pop in and out of, of other cohorts as well. Um, with respect to uh, Sham, we've got a uh, th this morning. I I joined. Uh, presentation. I don't know if you follow John on uh, Twitter at all. Uh, he gave a presentation about R4DS in the, I think it's African Maps R, yeah. uh, but it's 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 short AFRI Maps mm -hmm. R. And uh, so I, I joined that cohort this morning. Um, I am a aspiring data scientist person, uh, machine learning, uh, data, etc. Uh, my day job, I am a uh, training manager uh, for the rail uh, industry and uh, part of the job of not only technical training information, but also crossing into log data analysis and evoking some of the uh, awesome sauce between R, Python, and even cloud-based uh, uh, type of statistical solutions. Um, we are active in the, the uh, community, the Slack community, um, so always feel welcome to uh, message each other, et cetera. And uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward, uh, Sham. I'm, I'm excited for, for you being uh, the uh, facilitator of this book club and then also contributing to the team. So thank you. All right, thank you. Yes, Nick? Yeah, hello? Yes. Uh, yeah, um, nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Kunte Kim. I'm a, uh, I'm a PhD, PhD student at the University of Utah. So actually I'm a kind of like a, I would say urban planner that mm -hmm. are uh, urban planning students who are studying the urban planning and usually quantitative and data driven approaches to address the different kind of urban planning problem. And then uh, the reason why I actually joined this study club is uh, I, about maybe two or three years ago, I actually do the text mining of the planning scholars, 120 American planning scholar interview text to the, to the presented at the, at the annual academic conference. And then maybe I think that it's going to be the good opportunity for me to develop my text mining technique further. And also, I also got the book, physical copy of the book that I purchased it about a year or two years ago. I don't know. I don't remember. But yeah, I just tried to develop my text mining things. And then uh, my research interest is uh, more like uh, uh, data-driven approaches to what is called the GIS-based mapping and spatial data analysis for the transportation, particularly like a top public transit system on the different kind of land uses or social equity and some housing and some demographic characteristic changes over time. So I usually basically about the apply the social scientist training the different kind of uh, data analytics, including machine learning and some kind of a traditional data analysis and sometimes I also do the qualitative research like uh, coding the text by using the, some different kind of a software. But basically I'm a kind of a R coding lover. And then I always, sometimes I, sometimes I using Python or some Spark languages to further some kind of a big data analysis, but nice to meet you. And then I really look forward to having a lot of fun in this study club, study club by learning some kind of a different kind of a text mining technique for advancing my my research further. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, 
talk to um, Yahati Sahazi here and collaborate and learn together. All right, we have the Pavitra. Hey guys, sorry, my video was off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, hey, so um, I'm one of those that does is not lucky enough to use R in her job. It's all enterprise, but <laughs> the good news is I was hired as a data scientist, but I did only data engineering for about three and a half years, and now I'm passing it off to another team. And at that point, in about six months, I'm hoping I can actually do what I mm. want to do, which is um, right. predictive analytics using R. So um, just uh, I initially thought that this book club was tidy modeling for text data. You know, I think I because that, that's come out as well. Right. I think that's out also for um, tidy models using text data. I believe. But um, anyway, I'm happy to be here and um, hope to contribute. Thank you. OK. Um, all right, we have someone again in the, we have Amelia. Um, uh, hi, uh, so I'm sorry, I'm just out of training, that's why I'm late, and I'm seeing the changing room, so I can't really talk for another five minutes, probably until everyone is gone. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a bit of fog. Um, I think it should be okay. Let me go into another room. It's nine here, and Wednesday I have training. Uh, okay, so. I'm uh, sorry, I'm moving and probably not helping. Okay, everyone's going. So, I'm um, Amelie. Can you hear me fine? I'm sure that. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, cool. Uh, so, um, uh, what, what have you been saying? So, in your introduction, what you do in life, etc. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I'm, um, I'm an academic and I also just finished an MSc in data science and psychology side background. I uh, just started a new job uh, teaching psychology to neuroscience and psychology students and we teach research methods with our, we don't teach text mining, but in my MSc in data science, I've been using uh, some text mining techniques for my project. So I was quite keen to just go dive a bit because we want to take that project further into an academic paper. So here I am, uh, nine on a Wednesday, just after training is a good time for me. So I thought I, thought I would jump into it. Okay. Um, thank you, Amelia. All right, thank you. So basically um, uh, the idea of this, this club has been um, for the past couple of months and um, John was meant to actually lead this book club, but he was kind of um, busy with the other book club. And I'm really, really interested in doing text um, with R. Um, I was using Python, but since I was introduced to R, I'm become, um, I, I really love R and I'm trying to do some other stuff with R. Um, so the idea is, as Pavitra was saying, um, she uh, supposed the book club was supposed to be like, I think this is the book, um, Supervised Machine Learning for Text Analysis. This is the book she's supposed to, like uh, she uh, was thinking is for this book club. But um, what we discussed previously, even um, the author of this book, which is Emil and Julia Suzy um, in the channel, um, we were discussing that they should advise, should we just go to this book, Supervised Machine Learning and Text Analysis, or we should just start with text mining with our uh, book as a text mining for our, um, someone that's coming. And uh, we conclude that, okay, let's start with text mining with R. And after this one, then we can move to the supervised uh, machine learning for text analysis. Uh, but um, Emil even advised that, yeah, we can jump Straight to this book, go. Uh, John say, okay, let's start with this one, and after we can go to the next. So the aim for this book club is to kind of transition from text mining with R and move to the other second book, which is uh, text um, supervised machine learning for text analysis. So yeah, so that is the aim for the book. And um, uh, basically, as you all know, here we um, have been involved in one or two of the book club, and we all know. The format for the book club is to actually uh, pick a topic and uh, pick a chapter each week and present by 
one of the members. And this is basically the best way to learn. And I think Ryan can talk. Uh, uh, this is the best way to learn uh, the content, right? Um, so the presentation basically consists of discussion and um, what has been discussed in the chapter. And um, this is a GitHub repo. And um, it, if you are available to uh, present any chapter, you can uh, come and uh, let me know so that we can update this GitHub repo. So basically today, it's just to introduce ourselves and to see what it's uh, all about at the book club. So today we are not going to jump directly into chapter one of the book. Um, we are going to start the first chapter next week. And um, basically the place of the book is uh, for other book club, what we do, we try to do one chapter per week. Um, but um, this book, I'm not sure that um, uh, if we can try to split, split chapters, but maybe we can see we can match chapter. But uh, uh, the idea is just to do one book uh, per week. Uh, uh, I think the book is not that heavy. Uh, chapter one and chapter two are also so small, right, Ryan? Yeah, they're fairly tiny. Um, I don't think it would take too long to generate. I would put them at maybe six, seven pages long. Um, yeah. I think towards the end of the book, it gets a little more complex as far as the, the context is concerned. Um, I was going to mention mm -hmm. to uh, Pavri, uh, Pavita, the book I think she's referring to, the one that you had shown, uh, Sham, was, I, I think it's not in print yet. The online version is available, um, but the, uh, the print version, I don't think they went to production yet. It was only announced um, earlier this week, or sorry, or a couple of weeks ago. So it's uh, it hasn't it hasn't been shipped anyway that I'm aware of. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, right, right. Okay, so Got it. Uh, mm -hmm. this is a good book as well. Um, even with deep planning um, and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So, um, what do you think about the pace of this book, um, Test Man? Uh, do you think all oh, we are going to do is chap one chapter per week, or what do you think? Um, if we go a chapter a week, it's nine chapters long. Uh, so it, it it wouldn't take very long for us, I guess, to get through this. Um, mm -hmm. I would consider this maybe probably one of the shortest of the book clubs. If the if we extend over multiple weeks, we might be able to get to maybe a, a 12 to, to 16 week period. Um, but that would be, again, incorporating holidays and maybe anything else coming up mm -hmm. later in this year. So Right. Okay. So I think we agree that um, we should go over um, a chapter per week, right? Right. Um, yeah. So um, okay. right. So um, <clears throat> I think we have nine chapters from the book. Um, the first one is study tech format, sentiment analysis, how to be uh, some case study where we have um, analyze, analyzing using a tech. So um, anyone can volunteer to uh, pick any chapter to present. Um, so we have the first chapter we will be the next week. Um, uh, who will be able to volunteer for that? Um, we have a second chapter the week after. So um, I think uh, that is all for what we have for today. Um, just to introduce the book and uh, who we are and um, how the format of the book club should be. Um, Ryan, anything to add? No, sir, I'm good. Uh, no other comments. Um... Um, Pavitra, um, sorry for, um, <laughs> I mean, can I say um, you have been misled <laughs> in thinking that uh, we're gonna start the other book you No, I think that's a good uh, the explanation was perfect, Tasham Shuddin, because I think it's good. But I don't believe most of us know. I, I have at least probably attended a few talks here and there with the tidy text. So I, I think it's it's good to know all the nuances of it. So I think that's this is a good move. All right. Okay, cool, cool. Right. Yeah. Okay. Do we have a sign-up sheet, guys, for presentations or um any yeah. such thing? So yeah, I will throw the sign up sheet in the um, in the Slack channel so that we can, yeah, I will throw the sign up sheet in the Slack channel so that we can all sign the chat that we uh, have interest to present. All right. All right. That's good. Okay. Um,
Anything else from someone that want to add anything on top of what we have discussed? Right. So I can say um, today is short and um, basically to introduce the book club and to introduce how the format is. Um, I think if there's nothing, um, I will share the presentation sheet in the Slack. And that is all for me. So, um, right, um, I think um, um, if there is nothing we can say, we can see you all next week. Sounds right. good. Thanks, Fine. guys. See you next Bye. Week. Okay. Okay, see you next Thank week. You. See you next week. See you next week. Bye.